It's almost holiday, so we're going to talk about traveling to the Philippines. Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. Magandang araw sa iyong lahat. Welcome po sa aking channel. It's been a while again that I uh, made a video and I wanted to make this video two weeks ago but I wanted to wait uh, for my subscribers to come back from Philippines uh, so I could give you the information about their traveling. So I just mentioned subscribers of me they just traveled to the Philippines two weeks ago and they gave me all the information from everything that they had to do to travel there now if you're watching this video a little bit later always make sure that you check the official websites uh, for the requirements so it can always change really quickly uh, but this is what they had to do to go to philippines now first of all to give a little bit the idea of the situation the man is belgian the lady is Filipina and they have one child four years old. Is it for every person the same? It depends on your situation, of course. Uh, the man is fully vaccinated and has his booster. The Filipina, she's fully vaccinated and she has her booster. And the child, she was too young, she don't have any vaccination. So what they did, they uh, went to the website because the e-travel you still have to do it that's 72 hours before you're leaving here now for them it was no problem to fill it in the child that's something else because there is no vaccination they did a pcr test for the child they didn't find it like 100 percent sure if it's required or not but they didn't want to take any risks uh, because yeah once you're in the philippines you know sometimes uh, they can make it a little bit harder so they did the pcr test and i went to the website from the e-travel i will put the link down here in the description that you have the website where you can apply for it because i can see that there are people that uh, get like a bill online to pay now the e-travel is completely free so if you're on a website that is asking uh, you to pay it's not the official website and maybe it's a scam now they filled in the uh, e-travel it's a little bit the same as the video that i made from the uh, one health pass so you just have to give the information when are you leaving uh, where are you going what is the address that you're staying make sure that you're searching if you're going for a hotel that you're searching in the correct barangay because uh, your address that you're typing it can change if your barangay is not set correctly the moment that everything was okay it took about i think 10 minutes that he said for uh, one e-travel so it's going pretty quick that's the only document that they had to provide now they took their vaccination pass of course they took the pcr test and then they had the qr code from the e-travel they went here in brussels uh, they traveled from brussels with qatar so they had a stopover in doha and they traveled to Cebu. Just to give you all the details, if you're going to Manila, maybe you have a different experience on the airport itself. They were here in Brussels. The only thing that they had to show was their tickets and was their e-travel. They didn't ask anything about their vaccination passes, the PCR test for the child, they didn't ask anything. Now, of course, this is the situation from this, uh, this family maybe if you're traveling tomorrow they it's possible that they ask for your uh, for your pass but with them they didn't ask anything they had their stopover in doha in doha they didn't even ask anything anymore for the e-travel so they just had their uh, ticket and they just went on the plane to cebu now once they arrived in cebu they just had to show the e-travel so also there they didn't ask anything about vaccinations the pcs pcr test for the child 
they didn't ask anything and that's one of the strange things also they didn't have to upload their vaccination pass even online so it's really strange maybe it was a bug uh, on the website that time or something but they have an e-travel they gave in the dates that they were vaccinated but they didn't upload anything on uh, on that website when they arrived in Cebu they just scanned the e-travel it was okay and they could enter the Philippines for people that want to know with Qatar they didn't have to wear a mouth mask on the airplane they didn't have to wear a mouth mask on the airport itself so it was completely uh, free in Philippines also it's not required anymore to wear a mouth mask but uh, I can hear a lot of Filipinos are still wearing mouth masks uh, but normally it's not required anymore now the situation when they were there they had of course their holiday and they got a little bit sick now sick just to say they had sore eyes they had red eyes they went to a doctor there they had a prescription for eye drops so it was just normal they didn't feel ill or something it was just their eyes when they wanted to travel back to Belgium they make a problem on the airport because they had the, the red eyes they had a prescription and they had a paper from the doctor but that was not sufficient enough they had to go on the airport to a doctor the doctor they did an examination like fever and things like that but they were completely healthy it was only that their eyes were swollen and red they get a paper there they went again to the check-in and there they were not happy they were not satisfied with the documents from the doctor really strange because they are sending into them those doctors and then they, they don't believe what the doctor did the examination now there was a lot of uh, problems and discussion and things like that but after all after that they were allowed and then the moment they passed the immigration the husband and the child they have both a Belgian passport so that was no problem they could just pass and for the Filipina they asked for her e-travel so for all Filipino passport holders if you want to leave the Philippines they also asked for an e-travel now that's pretty strange because you're leaving the country so on that time on that moment they had to put themselves in the site and they have to arrange it online uh, to have the e-travel uh, again the moment that they filled it in they just didn't even scan it they just uh, let them pass they can see they have a, an e-travel and they can just pass but it's quite strange that you have to give uh, the e-travel because yeah that will be your address that you're here in Belgium and you have your F card that's why I wanted to wait to make this video to give the information that they had but yeah the child she has a dual citizen and the husband he has Belgian so they didn't have any problems it was only for the Filipina passport holder that they uh, had to show an e-travel to leave the country as well we also had problems last year when we wanted to travel they asked for our marriage certificate when we were leaving the Philippines normally you only have to show it the moment that you arrive in the Philippines to get your Balik Bayan uh, visa your Balik Bayan stamp but now they were asking it when we were leaving the Philippines so that was quite awkward now you just hear that I also experienced some problems last year with my wife but um, I cannot make those videos anymore because all the information is already really old the, the requirements are not the same anymore that's also why I didn't post any of those two videos about the Philippines anymore because I didn't have time to make them and now every information is already uh, dated outdated and uh, yeah it's expired so if people are traveling to the Philippines this is uh, the idea what you can expect so if you're traveling to the Philippines always check the requirements and to make sure now the e-travel it's not a lot of effort to do it it's like just 10 minutes and if you already filled it in to go there it's easy to fill it in to come back so for everybody that's traveling to the Philippines I hope you enjoy your holiday that you are safe there and what I can hear Philippines is going better now after the corona okay it's still crisis there and and it's not still rebuilt but the requirements are already a lot less no mouth masks anymore <clears throat> in my time when we were going there last year 
you can even be uh, only with two people on a tricycle what I can hear is all those restrictions they're uh, gone maybe of course it depends also in which barangay that you're going or on which island that you're going because yeah, Cebu is, uh, is a big city uh, maybe if you're traveling to the province you will still see some requirements but normally it should be uh, going better than last year so i hope you like this video if you like it give it a thumbs up if you like the channel you can always subscribe down in the channel there are more videos um, they are a little bit older now from the visa applications and the visa requirements but there are still filipinas arriving here in belgium using those videos so the information is still accurate only the cfo it changed you cannot do it in advanced anymore you have to wait till you have your visa in your passport and then you can apply for the CFO that's the only thing that uh, that changed uh, from all those videos and of course the Apple still but I made a video uh, later on there so that you can see there the, the information I hope you liked it and I hope to see you soon in one of my next videos Paalam tot ziens Thank you.